Welcome into your Tuesday edition of Warrior Daily. I'm Justin Arbogast, and here with me today is head women's volleyball coach Phil Nickel. Coach, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Doing very well. Well, getting going here with uh, half your season in the books. You guys are just getting back off the GLIAC GLDC crossover tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe get into a little bit of how that weekend went for you guys and uh, maybe what you guys learned moving on forward going into the rest of the season. Uh, well, the, the crossover didn't uh, turn out quite the way we had hoped. You know, we came home with a 1-2 and two record. Mm -hmm. and, but the odd thing is, is, is going back over and looking at some of the information and, and how we played is um, we actually didn't play that bad. We... we Averaged almost 15 kills a game and hit uh, a pretty high percentage for what we've been doing most of the season. So when I look at that, it becomes even more frustrating because it's like we played well enough to win. We just didn't. Um, but we're going to go back, and we need to get back to doing the things that made us successful the first half of the year, which was we were really good at stopping the other people. So if we can build off of this last weekend and continue the offensive production we had and get back to being a little better blocking and defensively, then we should be in good shape for the second half of the season. All right. Well, we got Friday. We have uh, Grand Valley coming in at 7, mm -hmm. Ferris at 4 on Saturday in the Math Eye for homecoming. I know it's a big weekend for you guys. How do you plan on attacking those teams, obviously, with Ferris sitting ahead of you guys looking to gain a little ground? Yeah, they're both good teams. You know, Grand Valley, I think uh, people have kind of written them off for some reason this year, but right. they're having a really good year. I think they're like 16 and 4 or something like that right now. Uh, went 3 and 0 at the crossover. So, that's going to be a big challenge. They're a good team. They do a lot of things well. They're they're coached very well. So, you know, we like I said, we we part of it's just we have to get back to to doing what we do best and um, being a little stronger at the net, you know, being good in transition, serving better. And if we can do those things, I think we match up really well with Grand Valley and what they try to do. Uh, Ferris uh, is ahead of us, so that's a big one too. Right. Um, obviously, if we don't take care of uh, the match on Friday night, Ferris will be even further ahead of us yeah. potentially. So we got to make sure we take care of that first one. But you know, Ferris is a good team, also. Um, you know, haven't watched them a lot yet. I'm going to get into that this afternoon and tomorrow. Um, but you know, we, we uh, kind of the same philosophy. We got to do what we do on our side of the net, and I think that'll give us a chance to to take care of business and, and win a couple matches this weekend. All right, awesome. And then uh, after this weekend, you're looking at uh, five of the next seven are on the road. Um, and I know that uh, senior leadership comes into play down the stretch mm -hmm. when you're trying to finish mm -hmm. out a season. Uh, is there something like reminding those seniors the legacy they're going to leave behind and things like that that you're going to use to motivate this team? I, well, we'll talk about that a little bit. I think this group, um, I think we just need to get back to, they were really gung-ho at the beginning of the season, even into the the off season about you know this is their senior year they want to make sure they go out with a bang and 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 leave that legacy for people to to live up to and I think they were really gung ho about it and as the season goes on you know we we've talked a little bit about some of the younger kids of um, this this look in their eye like oh my gosh you know it's only halfway through the season we've got all this work in school and coaches telling me we got to do more and da 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 right. and I think even the the older players get not the the part about needing more but you know school becomes difficult for everybody you know they, they have a lot of projects and papers and stuff coming up so I think it's just a matter of stepping back and saying look this is what we've accomplished up to this point this is what we need to do moving forward and you guys need to lead the way in, in doing that because you've been through all this you know what it takes to balance your school and your volleyball and and you need to show those young people that it's it's possible to do both at a high level and and, and lead them forward and I think that's what we're going to talk about the most. All right, awesome. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck moving forward. I know you guys are looking to get started with another long winning streak like the last home stand, and uh, we'll have you back here on Warrior Daily right before the GLIAC tournament. That right, sounds great. We'll be hopefully talking about the long winning streak we're on. There you go. That would be nice. That's women's volleyball coach Phil Nickel here on Warrior Daily.